Hey y'all, my name is Matt. I am a teacher trainer and volunteer English teacher here at Centro Espiramana in El Inbu de Peñas Blancas, Costa Rica. And today I'm gonna share with you where I work and where I live my pura vida. So let's go check out the school. Oh, here we are arriving at Centro Espiramana. Um, and that right there you can see is pepperoni pizza, or as we like to call her pepper. She's my beautiful little dog and she's been with me for the last four years I've spent here in Costa Rica. Um, working here at Centro Espiramana. A little bit about Centro Espiramana for those of you who don't know. We are primarily a teacher trainer center. We have had teachers from over 40 different countries come here to our school uh, in El Inbu de Peñas Blancas for certifications and courses um, learning best practices, tips, tricks um, in terms of teaching English, reflecting, compassionate communication, assessment, workshop design, and anything else related to education in the world of TESOL and beyond. Um, and in addition to being a teacher training program here, um, we are also able, because of the number of teachers who arrive for various certification programs, as well as those who come for long-term work volunteer opportunities and the like, uh, we are able to offer free English classes to those of us, those who live in the community. Um, so here you will see we are arriving at the school and we're gonna start right over here at the kitchen because it is lunchtime and I'm hungry and that's where my mind is at. So if you look in here, we've got a full kitchen. Um, it is beautiful, a nice new hardwood roof. Uh, and this is where three of our um, lovely ladies work. Um, we like to refer to them as our angels. Donai, Libya, and Milagro. They will be here, the lifeblood of the school, keeping us fed, alive, and happy, um, greeting us every morning and taking care of us. Um, over here you'll see we have a couple of bathrooms, a pila where you can wash your clothes and hang them out to dry in this nice afternoon sun, some tables where you can eat food, enjoy, and relax. Um, one of my favorite parts about living here in El Inbu de Peñas Blancas is the beautiful nature that just completely engulfs this rural farming town. Um, I just wake up and walk around here in this beautiful wind and I just live in the jungle. It is such a beautiful feeling and you'll keep seeing that out of all the windows and everything. This isn't the trick of a good camera angle. This is just where we're at. Um, so right over here, step with me into our main classroom. This is the largest classroom we have here on campus and where we um, start our day in most of our teacher training programs with community builders, um, other types of warm-ups and preparations for our day, as well as where we'll also do some of our teaching of English classes in the night. Uh, and you can see we have a large library of books available. Um, a lot of these books right here are reference materials for teachers, as well as some selection of literature and stuff to share with students. Continuing on over this way, we've got a beautiful little garden with stones representing all of the countries that have come and visited us an office where our trainers work, uh, and in through here. Um, this classroom we call our Rancho Classroom. This is where we have a lot of our kids' programs. So over here you'll see we have another wonderful library full of beautiful kids' books that we love to use. Um, murals on all the walls that our children have painted. On Saturday we host classes with kids from the surrounding communities. I'll take you on upstairs to the uh, upstairs of the Rancho. This is where I live, and we have several other rooms as well that we share with participants. In here you can see what one of our standard rooms looks like. A couple of beds, a fan, somewhere to place your clothes. It's modest, but it is beautiful. And if you look right out the window, just like I was saying, deep in the jungle. And come on back through here to my favorite part of the rancho. And you have got this beautiful balcony up here. A nice hammock spread out, perfect for an afternoon nap. View down to the rest of the school. Just a really great place to spend a nice afternoon. As we continue on through here, we're coming up to our third main classroom, which is the spiral room. Um, these are the three classes where we have most of our teacher training workshops, as well as our English classes as night. So you'll step in here and see what this space looks like. Um, we come through here. We've got two more bedrooms this way. Some bathrooms, 
some showers. There's one bathroom and two showers here, and these are shared with those of us living up in the rancho and down here in the hall. And then along the back here, more of our beautiful nature, some lines to dry your laundry. We've got a small but functional office right in here with um, a computer and a printer and other technological assets if you need. Uh, and we do have Wi-Fi running at the school. I'll go give you a peek at our jungle router. Um, we're not that far out that we've had to disconnect from everything. So this right here is our Wi-Fi setup. Um, and a quick note about that, if you're coming, we do have Wi-Fi. You'll be able to stay in touch with your family and friends. Um, we have the fastest Wi-Fi available to us, but it is still slower than most normal households in other parts of the world. Um, so what we do ask is that you try to limit your communications to what you need professionally in terms of emails uh, and also, um, you know, contacting your family and making those kinds of calls, absolutely. But in terms of streaming, we don't really have the Wi-Fi capability of that. Um, but fortunately, we've got the beautiful show of nature going on all around us. And if you come in here to the purple room, which is a quiet workspace, um, you can also see that we've got a large library of DVDs. Many of the classic romantic comedies from the 80s and 90s are right here waiting for you to enjoy them. So come in, grab a seat on the sofa, we can set up a projector and have our own movie night here. Over through here, you can see our beautiful mural and one of our last rooms here on campus. This is the yellow room. Um, the yellow room also has its own bathroom and shower right in through here. A large shared room. And then I'll take you out for a quick trip around the grounds. A lot of green space. We're planting and growing some more organics to be grown and eaten here at the school. And a view into town. Well, I'm getting hot in this afternoon sun, so why don't we go take a walk into the center of town? I'm gonna grab a cold drink. Come on with me, let's check, let's check it out. Like I mentioned before, we are located here in Costa Rica in a rural farming town called El Invu de Peñas Blancas. Uh, El Invu um, is home to about 500 Costa Ricans. Um, it's a small town. We've got a pulperia, which is a very typical uh, Costa Rican corner store, a supermarket, a small hardware store, um, an evangelical and a Catholic church, an elementary school, and a community center. Um, an event hall where they have a lot of community events. And that's about it. Um, but one of the biggest resources that we're so blessed to have is again, this beautiful nature. I typically try to find as much time as I can throughout the week to go on walks to the river uh, and check out all of the beautiful spots that are around. So I hope when you're here, you get to enjoy it just like I do. Right, y'all, we're here we are we're arriving to the center of town. Right over there, you've got our large soccer field. Back through there, you'll see our elementary school. Over there, our Salon Comunal, the Catholic Church, the Evangelical Church, and up ahead, the supermarket and the pulperia, where I'm gonna go buy my cold drink.
What's up, boy? How you doing? Oh yeah, but boy, can I get a ginger ale and a bag of papiolas? Perfect. That'll be all, boy. Okay. Thanks so much, my man. You have a good day. What are you? Alrighty, y'all. I'm gonna enjoy my ginger ale here with Poi, and I look forward to meeting you soon. Have a great one. Pura vida.